no idea what time it is. I'm gonna have to do lots of chores today. The laundry room's a mess, but right now it's overcast. So it is, I'm going to move on. So I need to move the golf cart out of the way. Um, it is Tuesday, May 18th. I don't know what time it is. I'm thinking it's nine. I'm not really sure. But anyway, all right, getting my shoes on. Let's see, see, kind of overcast. Good chance to mow the lawn and not get too much sun because it's hot. Oh, it feels actually kind of nice. Okay, I was wrong. It's 9.57. It's almost 10 o'clock already. All right, let's get the lawn mowed. <laughs> more yard work since it was overcast but the sun came out I'm gonna move the hose so I can mow the rest of the lawn that was in the way I'm going to water this tree over here Almost done. We just need to do this section here. Okay, that tree over there is getting watered. off with the hose. This tree is doing good. But it's lopsided. I don't know, I wanted to cut this right here, but hubby said no. So, rinse off with the hose. These are my yard flip-flops. Once they get yucky, I buy new flip-flops and use the old one for the yard. Because I hate wearing shoes. <laughs> Okay, and I need to water the plants, but I'm just going to wait till this evening. It's already too late in the day. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to put the golf cart in the garage and go have some lunch. Well, I was going to say it was a hot mess, but I'm actually not too bad. So, actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to um, go for a quick golf cart ride just to cool off and get all the dirt off of me. Yeah. So, get all the dirt off of me. Yeah. school group on Tuesday. So let's see. Nope. I was wrong. I guess it's starting to get too hot to come to the park. So I don't know. Today's nice though, but I guess they decided not to come today. I didn't even tell, um, I didn't even tell hubby I was leaving. I guess I should text him. <laughs> he probably didn't even know I left. Oh, you can't get over the fence now. The gate open? No. Yeah, he's looking for a way out. Yeah. Oh, he's freaking out. How did he get over though? I don't know. There he goes. Yeah. Nope. He was gonna take a run and start and then he stopped. Oh. Well, he 
he's got to figure it out. Because Good morning guys I'm just finishing up watering the plants and stuff so um, I've been coming out here in the morning until 8 or 9 o'clock then it starts to get too warm so it's gonna be like my morning routine just come out here and do that I used to just water whenever but yeah and um, then pull a few weeds that's what I've been doing finally I've gotten to that point where I can just pull a few weeds while I'm out here watering and stay on top of it. It still needs, there's some weeds here. This is supposed to be designated hubby's section for weeding. <laughs> I'll let you know if that happens. And then I'm gonna do the other. Those two sections don't really need it. Um, but these are the weediest. And you can see my whole thing of weeds there. That needs to be dumped. That was not from today. That's from this week. It is Friday something, the 21st, something like that. So I spray painted that. I do that once a year, once every other year. Yeah, and then I'm gonna hang the lanterns back up. <music> been doing is moving the sprinkler around like I said that earlier the other day but what I heard what I read correct me if I'm wrong is it's for trees it's better in some plants it's better to saturate them once a week really heavily so that's been watered for like an hour um, I did, I was doing the trees at the end after I finished watering anything and then I would put the sprinkler on. I'm like, duh, just cause then I would forget <laughs> to turn the hose off. So, um, but now I'm going to get two trees in. So it's better to saturate, um, the tree for one week or one week for once a week really heavily than to water it a little bit each day. That's what I heard. Unless it's like a new tree, maybe that might be a little bit different if you just planted it or something, but that's an already established tree. So I'm going to move it over to my mom's tree, the Judy tree. I just got wet. I should move it closer. Okay. That's better. And y'all, I'm thinking about getting rid of all these tires. <laughs> I know, clap your hands. I'm sure y'all wanted me to. Um, I don't know. And I'm going to get some haciendas and make a little planting area there. I just end up throwing stuff back there that, well, I threw aloe 
when we re landscaped the front, there was way too much owl and it was getting too big. So I just threw it in here, y'all. I didn't even plant it. And look, you see all the olive plants? They're fine. Maybe I might throw some dirt in there. I don't know. And put some bromeliads in here because it stays kind of shady in here. I think this would be a good spot for some bromeliads. We need to declutter the patio of them. It's getting ridiculous. And then this tree over here, I was thinking about putting some haciendas around that. I don't know. We'll see. I need to, I need to do this area first. Well, I have other things to do first, but that's the plan. I'm ready to get this yard looking nice and not redneck. <laughs> it's too much work to keep these tires uh, painted. The idea was to stack them and be able to put plants on top of it so I wouldn't have to, like, a, a planter on top of it so I wouldn't have to bend over. But, yeah, yeah it didn't work out because you got to paint these all the time because the Florida sun wreaks havoc on these, on these, yeah. So, I think they're going to go. And some of you are asking, update on the pool. Can you vision it? I can vision it. I don't know, guys. There, we're still on the waiting list, December, before they could start. Um, and the per current person we're working with is giving us the runaround. So we're looking around for some other bids somewhere else, but nobody's taking any, yeah. Nobody's, you have to get on the waiting list to get a bid or whatever. Drop the plans, all that kind of stuff. So I did that with several places. So it's like starting from square one again. So, um, yeah, and apparently there's a shortage of plumbing supplies and pumps and stuff like that. And the prices have gone up astronomical. I don't know. We, we got our name on some other list with some other pool builders. And everyone and their mother wants a pool. And it's just, yeah. I mean, I've been going, playing phone tag with this guy forever and emailing him it's just ridiculous you know first his mother has went in the hospital and then his his wife was in the hospital and i understand all that but then give my account to somebody else he wasn't i mean i think it's a family-run business but i know his son runs it and i don't know it's just ridiculous so i think we're done with that company all right we're gonna water the royal pine all right, and then I'm gonna go set the timer for like an hour, maybe 30 minutes. So I just hang this, I'm sure I mentioned this before, in case I didn't. I just hang it on the tree and so I can fill this bucket up because the hose doesn't reach the black diamond crepe myrtle. And um, so I use that bucket to water that so it'll be filled up for tomorrow, and then the overflow will drip a little bit. In fact, I think I'll turn this down a little bit so it doesn't go so fast. And then the Judy tree could get more water. So I'm gonna set the timer for like 30 minutes, I don't know, an hour. And then I think I'm done for today. That's it, that's all I'm gonna do. I do need to clean the front porch. I'm supposed to do a collab video coming up here soon you might have already seen that when i've when i post it so i'm not really sure so all right I'm gonna, i think that's dry enough and um, i'm gonna hang these lanterns up they're solar so yeah they're kind of cool y'all see this so this is paper and it's been really windy lately and from it swinging back and forth it has got tore up and left a black mark on my house here. I guess I'll be moving that. That's crazy. Let's take it off right now. Good morning guys. I'm out here this morning watering the plants. Um, yeah, still barely any rain. You can see my grass is dying. I mean, it's not. It's drought tolerant grass, the hair grass. And there's hobbies. I let the cats out. Um, I'm gonna trim the bougainvillea. That thing is growing like crazy. I have not been watering it, but it's growing like crazy. So I need to get my clippers. 
I don't know what time it is. It's like 7.30. I'm not really sure. So I cleaned my front porch. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it. So I'm happy to have got that done. I wanted to um, clean or fix up the swing area, but I didn't get to it. So I still need to get more, some molts for here. You know, things happened. The whole me falling off the bike thing got me behind. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the clippers. And hubby still didn't hang this up. I was hoping to do like a honeydew list video soon. Oh, I put, leave my clippers in here and then there's a few other things. Oh, this is a handy tool right here. I just, I bought a couple months ago. It's to clean the cracks and the sidewalk to get all the weeds because I can pour bleach and all that kind of stuff. And the weeds still grow. So that looks good. Good. Let's see. Where is some, I mean, it does require bending. So there's that, but, um, let's see. So you put this in the crack and it just, yeah, see it just cuts everything. I mean, I need to pour some vinegar on there or something to, uh, oh, the rest of the cracks are pretty good. So just that one. All right, I'm going to trim this. This is grown twice the size as it was. Was it March that my brother-in-law cut this back like to, um, it was half the size. Yeah, and I ha again, I have not been watering it. So somehow it's still surviving. All right, I'm going to cut it back. wagon is full good enough uh i was gonna wait for my um brother-in-law to cut it back but i don't know if he's gonna get to it his father they had to move him to a nursing home and they had to sell his house and my sister and her husband are busy they're not able to get any work done right now so i thought i better cut it and then he can cut it some more if need be. Yeah. Looking. I don't want it to get to where it's touching the house and trying to keep it away from there. I guess I need to get that one there. So. Okay. So I'm doing the work smarter, not harder thing. So I just been resting the hose like that if, if I can do that and then why that's watering one plant and I like to saturate it so I don't have to water it every day but I still feel like I should so I didn't water yesterday so um yeah so I realized I should have got the barrel for that I don't know why I didn't think it that was not work smarter and my weed bucket has filled up so I need to empty that that's probably weeds from I don't know, two or three weeks. So like I said, I'm just, I just grab a couple weeds here and there. Um, it's not that bad right now because it hasn't been raining. So this is not typical. <laughs> and Hubby was supposed to be taking care of this part. And he has not been. I said, when you go for a walk, just when you come back, just pull like five weeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Nope. <laughs> Let's see if I can't drag Hubby down to Tractor Supply. I want to finally, I've been talking about it forever, to get one of them stock tanks. I think I might get two. And then I'm going to put some cut flowers here. I'm going to try it. My friend Luann, that is something around here, um, suggested that. Well, she said, I should be able to do that. But um, 
I don't know. She was suggesting zinnias and something else, sunflowers. Um, but I don't know. I never have any luck with that kind of stuff. Florida, I don't know. You think I've lived here long enough? What, and what did I come out here for? Uh, a barrel. Uh, that I would figure out how to grow things in uh, Florida. Is this one empty? Yes. What? What? Oh, one of the barrels is on the patio. All right. So why is there a paper plate in there? I don't know. Anyway. Get this and... Does it need a top on it? I do. I should put a top on it. Because hubby likes me to put a top on it. Anyway. And the rosemary is doing excellent. The, what is that? Philodendron is not growing. So it really needs to be put in the ground. I'm going to see if hubby can do that. Try to get him to do that. I've been trying for a while. Right. I got that emptied. Um, in case you didn't know, Bougainvillea has thorns on it, so you have to be careful handling them. So definitely next time I'll just bring the barrel out here. I could put a barrel in the wagon. Yeah, it's, this is not that heavy. I can lift it up and then take it. We like to put it down there in that corner um, for the yard trash, which will come Monday. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this lid and gather up some of this mulch that has decomposed quite a bit it's way smaller than that stuff um which i'm going to get i mean this is the same stuff but it's been here for four years that's when we redid this originally redid this thing with the path and all like that so i'm going to get some of this because that's where the weeds grow in the small stuff and i'm going to put it in some of the plants because they need some mulch, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see if I can't finagle this. And when I go to Home Depot, I think I'm gonna get a um a paver to put under that water fountain because I just can't get it to be get level. So, like the one that's under the um, bird bath cactus garden thing. But I don't know, I think I need a bigger one than that. I might have to get end up getting a square one, but then I'll just cover it up with mulch or something. I was going to get two um, barrel panthers and put them on the other side of the swing. But you know what? I think I'll get Hubby to get the ones down there by the driveway and bring them up here. Because I'm supposed to be doing something with them, but I haven't. So, when that happens, I'll buy two new barrel things. I might as well make use of what I have first and um, go from there. And what I'm going to do with those, I think, is put some bluebells in there. Because I mentioned it before, you just cut the tops off of it and stick it in the dirt. And it grows. They're weeds. They're basically weeds. And they have new flowers every day. The flowers fall off and uh, new ones grow the next day. So... Um, yeah. Right. But I'm not going to do that today. I think I did enough. I'm almost done watering. I got to fill this back up and still do the two. Did I do the desert rose? Well, I could do it again because I just put that mulch in there and, um, like it could use some water on top of it. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to take the bear out to the road. <music> So, oh, I should turn that fan on, but I guess I have to wait until after I'm talking because you won't be able to hear me. So, um, I typically am out here for like an hour, and it had been every day, but lately it's been every other day. Um, I'll just do it, I'll water the plants and then weed in between. Today I did a little more than that, but um, I'm finally at that place if y'all faithful subscribers know how frustrated I've been with my landscaping the last couple years because it had gotten out of control, especially last year. And um, I was struggling to find a routine to keep it under control, and I'm there. Now, you know, I have to change my mindset because I'm that all or nothing kind of girl where I just want to, you know, I want to get the mulch all done all at one time and the weeding and just take a whole day to do all that, but I can't do that anymore. So, um, 
it's not bothering me. It used to bother me, annoying the crap out of me that I couldn't do it all. Um, because again, I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm learning. It's okay. So, I still have to do the mulch, and there's weeding to be done. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue to come out here every day or every other day for about an hour, water the plants, and do a little this and that, and then, and keep it under control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I had to finish watering, and then I might go for a golf cart ride to cool off. Oh, and I need to drink my water. I'm going to turn this fan on and take a break, and then go for a golf cart ride. The stupid trash guy picked up the yard trash. I'm like seriously, when you open the when you open the lid to the trash can, did you not realize it was yard trash? Yard trash comes on Monday. Garbage came today, and I'm like, what? Are you serious?